Hey y'all, Olivia Hermosa from TikTok. If you like those true crimes and verified stories, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button to Petty Tupac TV. What up, dog man? I, hey, today, look, let's get straight into the video. I want to talk about why people go to trial and they got a bunch of evidence against them, man. Like some of the dumbest cases I've seen took the trial was Kelsey Daniels uh, out of Pontiac, Bobby McGowan, that's the guy who did the uh, the, 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 the the banquet hall shooting. I, and, and I think maybe it was some ineffective counsel in there because they didn't tell him even though you tell the jury you didn't mean to shoot him, the gun went off when you put it out your pants and it hit it. The gun really did hit the, the bullet hit the ground, ricocheted up, went through one guy, hit another guy, and killed one of them. My man Lavelle Fields, that was another case. Like you got text messages, phone records. Even though you might not directly told them to off dog or say he you know, dude got to, he said, dude got to go. That could be interpreted in any way to a jury. Once the prosecutor painted it in a certain light, jury not hard to convince. A lot of, I mean, let's just keep it, let's keep it all the way 100. People who do jury duty and stuff like that, dumb, think you're a criminal already, or just, just easily persuaded. You, Boosie, that's one thing he did say. If you could afford a, a professional juror, make sure you get a, a professional jury. You dig what I'm talking about. Um, this, this one case, Oh, and, 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 it's, and it's talk about that, the, the the Lavelle Field situation. Even though he didn't directly give it that, he gave it that title. Dog got to go. Let's just say dog got to go meant you can't date this guy no more. He got to go. You know, let's just say it meant that. You still created the events that led up to the situation of him dying. So, therefore, you still have a felony homicide, open murder, or whatever else they want to charge you with. One that stand out to me was this guy, I think it's, it's Michael Williams. I believe it was Michael Williams. It was him. We're going to call the other guy H. Eel. We're not going to say his name. H. Eel, Mike, and another drug dealer. These three drug dealers, they had a spot on the east side of Detroit. They was getting, some, they was getting a little change. They hired these young guys to work in a spot for them. The young guys got smart or dumb or decided to, to make a play. They start getting their own drugs and selling it in front of their stuff they, to their clientele. The clientele calling them like, hey, look, this ain't right. So they do a whole play, set it up. Oh, this is not the same stuff. It's not even the same color we get y'all. The stuff we get y'all kind of tan is the white. So they go over there. Um, it's a girl there. They beat two of the guys up, hit them with bats, kill one of them. From what H.L. told me and, and, and a little bit of what I read, it was a conversation to off the grill and the other guy that was there. But definitely the girl. Dude was about to do it. The third guy. I don't know his name. We're just going to call him third guy. Third guy wanted to do it. Mike. Like, nah. Don't do it, bro. Leave him alone. Less than 24 hours, they got a murder case, assault with intent to murder, torture, a plethora of crimes. Mike is the supposed trigger man. Mike got caught writing a letter to H. Eel asking him just to blame it on the third guy and he would give him money. Letter caught. Got the girl saying it was him. Got H. Eel saying it was him. Got somebody that overheard the conversation saying it was him. Four different people saying this is you. Mike, for some reason, thought that he was going to disprove all this. Remember I told you all the stories that it would be a guy that got your aunt testifying on you, your mom, your cousin, your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your baby mama. And they'll 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 come up with this 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 okay, well, I'm I'm we going to let the juror know well, my aunt didn't like me because she did my taxes and I didn't give her the money she owed, she was owed. My ex-girlfriend just mad cuz I'm with a new girlfriend. My new girlfriend mad because she used to she found out that I used to mess with my ex-girlfriend. My baby mama mad because you know, I filed the kid for taxes and then let her my mom, she just been bitter my whole life. She put me in jail three other times. So I'm going to prove all this to a jury. Is you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Takashi voice. You got five different people saying the same thing. You think you're about to get up off this? And none of this is circumstantial evidence either. You got caught with the gun that did the, did the murder. You got caught with the... You got caught with, your phone pinged off the same location. 
the time uh, uh, 10 minutes from when the 9 or 5 minutes when the 911 was called. He was in the same location. Or, you know, you got some guys that done did crimes with a tether on. Get caught up. And, oh, I wasn't there. You be fiending for them cigarettes. You be fiending for the liquor. You be in jail like, man, I don't want to get off, man. You, when, you, when you first, and you ain't been in jail a lot, when you first come down to the county jail, and then you hear that plea offer, uh, we get 25 for the murder, two for the gun. Guys, don't really want to hear that. Wait, hold on. I'm 30, 27. I'll be out when I'm 57? Oh, hell no. I'm taking this to trial. And guys geek them up like, all you got to do is convince one juror. That's a hung jury. Take you to trial. If they take you back again, the dude convince one. Guys be geeked up, bro. Like Mike was geeked up. I remember a guy named Randall Durr in Juvie. They was geeked up. I'm going to beat my murder. Yeah, I'm going to beat my murder. Psh, tell them I'm going to trial. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to trial. I'm going to trial, boys. They go to court. Mike go to court. Come back. Man, they gave me 37 years, man. I'll be out when I'm 62, man. If they, man, you'll beat it on trial. Yeah, yeah, I'll beat it on trial. There ain't nothing to it, boss. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to it, boss. I remember Dirt came back. Randall Dirt did Joy Road Dollar Store killing. He was telling me, like, yeah, I'm going to mess with you when you get out there. You know my people. Yeah, bro, I'm about to get out there. I'm about to go to trial, bro. Like, Two days, bro. It's over, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. Woo, woo, woo. I'm see. They got all my information, bro. Give me like three days. I'll be back out. Yeah, bro. You on camera doing it? Your phone records show that you was talking about the the the, the armed robbery. that turned into a murder. An employee pointed you out. Same bill, same. You had a small little mask over your face that barely covered your face. He he happy. He like, no, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Come back from court. Man, anybody say something to me, I'm knocking them out. What they give you? 25. Guys don't be wanting to hear that 25. They want to be do a couple weeks or whatever time they got to get back out to that drink, that smoke. They ain't trying to hear that, bro. Especially if you 40. I got a brother right now, man. God bless his soul. I love him to death, bro. I love him to death. And I understand why he want to go to trial. He explained it to me. I asked him on a visit. And this the this powerful guy. He the only guy in the county jail just getting visits right now, physical visits. I've been up there three times to see him. Nobody else get visits. And then when we go on visits, it's not 30 minutes. It's not 45 minutes. They leave me up there until I knock on the door like, hold on, bro. It's getting hot in here, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to talk about with another man for three hours every time. But I done been up there three yep, three times. And the visits was never 45 minutes. None of that. Three, four hours. I got to knock on the door. It's powerful. Oh, are you up here to visit who? Oh, yeah, yeah. Powerful brother. I don't write my name down there so y'all won't even know who I'm talking about. So, I finally got the courage to tell him. I'm like, bro, you sure you want to go to trial with this? He got three co-defendants. Two already got, that went to trial before him, already got natural life without parole. Natural life without parole on top of 15, on top of 30. Concurrently, not consecutive. You got your female co-defendant testifying on all y'all. Brother, on some real stuff, man. What make you think they're not about to convict you? He told me, he said, look, bro, I'm 45. And they, all, they offer him 35 plus 2 for the gun, habitual offender. 35 plus 2 for the gun. 45, 35, you get out when he, he get out when he 80. Life expectancy, I think it's like 70 to 75. 80? You explain this to me. I'm like, you're right. He's like, 
It don't matter. I'm going to die in prison regardless. So if I get natural life without parole or I get 37, it's cool. What's the difference? He said they come at me with 15 years. I'll cop out. I say this is this, this the time I'm, because you, you don't want to break that news to nobody. You don't want to make them, you don't want to tell them their decisions is illogical and they're going to get convicted. You don't want to tell these brothers that. He say, um, oh no, I tell him, Thirty-seven. What if they bring back good time? What would that be? He like for thirty-seven, I might do thirty. That still make me seventy-five. I'm like, damn. You right. I just might take my chance and try. But you got the code telling on you. You got a witness. And you got some other dude who's supposed to be thugged out gangster. You tell him to. I'm not going to say his name because I don't. You know, maybe in another videos, you know, we, we, we're we supposed who he is. But he 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 a prominent figure out here in, in, in the entertainment world. And if you watch him, you know who you is. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, man. You can't argue with that. That's good logic. The other guys, like, bro, Mike, they offered you 17 years, homie. You 29 or 28. You'll be out of the reasonable age to still live your life. He didn't take the 17. They gave him like 37 or 40. No, excuse me. They gave him 42 years. His outdate is like 2055. That's a hard pill to swallow, bro. People want to be get back, people want to get back out here to this real world. After sitting in that county jail so long, you like, man, twenty, man, I was just on the streets uh, uh, six months ago, man. I ain't gonna get out to three hundred months later. That's a hard pill to swallow, baby. That's a hard pill to swallow. I remember they messed up on my guidelines. They do it all the time, but they messed up on my guidelines for uh, armed robbery, carjacking. They came to me with like 17 years. I'm like, hell no. Hell no. I was a kid. I was 15 or 16. I was 17 years. I couldn't. No. Guys in my ear like, man, no, I'm going to take that to trial. You got holes, and, and some guys be believing that, right? You got holes in your case, and I and I actually had holes in my case. The 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 person that said they got carjacked, armed, robbed, and beat, or whatever the case may be, he lied three times about what he was robbed for, and what what was took from him. And I, 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 I'm gonna be all the way honest, it happened. He had the bag on him. You feel me? He had the bag. We young dumb crumbs, we came for. It. Had the bag on him. He lied a bunch of times about it. He didn't identify any of us in a lineup. At all. The woman said it looked like me. She recognized my stature. She recognized my voice. They was they was actually trying to do a voice lineup. My lawyer uh, objected to that. Shout out to Jeremy Brand uh, out of Birmingham. Um, shout out to Jerry Brand, Jeremy Brand. Great lawyer. Big white guy. Good looking. Look like, like he... Did a bunch of cases for the mafia. You look like some mafia guy, Jeremy Brand. Never forget him. Had him a couple times. He was court appointed to me um, as a child twice. He worked magic. Magic. He was the guy that told me how you look in court mean a lot. He said, cut that beard. You're a youth. You don't want to look older than what you are. You're 16 with a full beard. Cut that beard, man. Cut your hair. I remember another guy he was representing. He actually paid for him, I believe. He said, man, cut them braids. You don't want to look like no thug. And let's be honest. I'm just being honest with you. Corporate world, you don't do braids. I mean, braids and, and men with braids, they don't really go over well. Let's just be honest. How people per perceive life. Michael Vick said that people was like, 
man, you 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 know you a sellout for saying that. No, he's saying cut your cornrows because it's about perception. This is how corporate America, not just white people, corporate America view you. You got them braids, cornrows, dreads, tattoos on your face. Imagine guys with ten teardrops on their face going to court, and a lawyer, might, uh, 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 a prosecutor might do something. Little, uh, uh, what do those teardrops on your face mean? Hey, Jack, hey, you're not supposed to be. And the judge let it go on or whatever instead of declaring the mistrial. Like you paint a picture, you put into people here sublimely. Like a uh, 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 a prosecutor uh, say something they know they're not supposed to say or bring up or lead a person somewhere they're not supposed to, but they'll do it just so the jury can hear it and be like, oh. The prosecutors are good. They are animals. The average prosecutor better than your average lawyer. Facts. Especially your court appointed lawyers, the blue out ones, they got 50 cases. Then they get paid three hundred dollars for it. Man, you gonna be out the dry and right. Ain't too many great court appointed attorneys. But Jeremy Brand, I, like I said, I think he had worked for his own firm and he just had to take a certain amount of regular cases or, or excuse me, appointed cases. Jeremy Brand was the best that ever been appointed to. Ever. Kaminsky was the best ever paid. The name was Kaminsky, and I'm, I'm gonna give you the other lawyer name too. It's a dog, pregnant lady at the time. But she, they offered me like four years for felonious assault or something like that. She said, she leaned over to me like, hell no, you don't take that. What? No, no, we not taking it. She didn't. Act, she didn't even let me finish my sentence. She's like, no, no, we ain't taking that. They end up coming down to like one year, and she told me, don't cop out to that. Your situation, you're gonna go to trial. You might have a mistrial. We're gonna get a jury eventually. To acquit you of this. Nobody's going to agree totally on this. I'm like, all right, at first. And I'm like, nah, I'm a cop out. Go ahead and get my year over with. But I end up doing four years because of my behavior. But I should have never copped out to that. It was staying your ground. Then I could have came back with a lawsuit. Just messed it up. Just because I wanted to get out the county jail so bad because it was that bad. The living was that bad. Why do guys go? To trial with 10 people pointing you out, they don't want to accept the fact, bro, you're going to go. You, you're going to leave 25 Christmases, 25 birthdays, 25 of your daughter or son birthdays, 25 of your grandma, your love of your life, 25 birthdays. Your girl going to be out there getting piped down 25 years. And some people can't accept that. My man's Mike Powers is about to go to trial. They about to boom that boy. About to boom him. Too many people said you did it. And I know he's super sick because he did five years in prison, four years in the feds. No, no, he did three. Got out. Went back for like two years. Not even. No, he went back for four years. Not even two years later. Got out. A week later, he back up. Faces like 20 years. Habitual offender. That boy going to be so blue out when he get out. And, you know, I love my baby, but I, I don't feel bad for him because he's just a slime ball person. Slime ball. Don't, if you ever get in trouble, do not let them boys in the county jail geek you up. Here, go to trial. We the trial boys. Yeah, we the trial boys. He beat his. Then all five of y'all go to trial get boom. They offered you 16. Now, now you're doing 40. 40. It's unfortunate the law like that, that, but it's cool. Peace. No, I should have just cat. Geeking in a party, only sipping niggas, never fuck with Cardi. Got a bad bitch, Jack and she a body. 40, make him flip like he Jeff Hardy. Heartbreak, kid told her I ain't sorry. No back seats, riding in the shop. Clock got a laser, got me feeling happy. Up and then I flack it, aiming for his noggin'.